What is up, everybody? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to be talking about something that often occurs when trying to make that jump from 150cc to 200cc. Now, I know what you're all thinking. Okay, well, 200cc is obviously faster, so it can't be that much harder. Well, yes. However, if you're not brake drifting, it's going to make it a lot more difficult. Now, depending on what kind of controller you have, it might affect your brake drifting ability just because the buttons are different sizes and so on. However, in the long run, it really shouldn't matter because you'll get pretty good at it. So right here, you can see how Roy is drifting around the corners, but he's using the brakes to slow him down so he can stay on the track. Each turn, he's got to tap the brakes just so that he can keep that slow pace around that turn and able to make the right angle so he doesn't fall off. Now here's something common that happens if you don't use the brakes. You'll fly right off the track, slowing you down, ruining your chances of trying to win that race. But if you do use it right here, this is also a better drift. So this is maybe not the best example, but you can still see that he's tapping on the brakes every turn, giving him the ability to stay on the track and actually you know, save more speed. A lot of people think, oh, well, if I'm tapping the brakes, it's going to slow me down. No, this, this will actually help you gain speed in the long run as you're able to stay on the track and not um, limiting, you're limiting the amount of times you're going to fall off. Here are a couple more examples. Now, again, you'll be able to see here what happens if you don't use the drift. Now, that might have been a drifting area. You could have probably drifted earlier there. But also, if you don't use the brake, you're not going to be able to stay on the track like that. You're going to be hitting the walls a bunch, and it's going to really slow down your racing. Okay, here again, you can see how you properly brake drift. You know, tap those brakes right on this turn here and let off. Tap them and then let off and so on. Now for brake drifting, there's a specific thing you're going to have to learn how to do with the controller. You're going to be holding A with your thumb and slowly lean down and tap B as you brake. You want to keep your thumb on both A and B when you're brake drifting though, otherwise you'll just brake and then you won't be able to keep the drift. Also, it's important to remember that you just want to need to tap the brake. You don't need to hold it very long. Every once in a while on a very long turn you'll hold a little longer, but most of the time you're just going to be tapping the brake. Here's another example of what happens if you don't brake drift. You'll fall right off the edge. However, here, if you hold the brake, which right here, holding the brake, holding the brake, holding the brake, letting go and then re-holding it, you'll be able to make that drift efficiently. Thanks for watching guys and like and subscribe for more.